It's the apocalypse. The end is nigh. The pterosaurs are coming. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to what is rather um, a weird start to our today's tour, our today's video. There is uh, a bug in this build. Yes, another build, another bug. And, uh, I will show you the bug now, and I will show you once I unpause the game what will happen here. Every single time that I get into this file, look at it, look at it. Any moment now, can you see? Can you see? It's the apocalypse. The end is nigh. The pterosaurs are coming. They are all flying out of the aviary, through the glass, all at the same time, every single damn time that I start this build. So this is a nice apocalyptic vision of uh, what's happening. Don't know why, don't know, don't know why that's the case. It's just so freaking annoying. So uh, excuse me for a second. I want to show you the park. I really do. I want to show you the part and it's uh, all its glory. So excuse me for one second while I catch all these birds. Okay. Okay. Uh, we have the main hang. Ah, <laughs> what is English? We have the mayhem behind us. Welcome again, uh, officially this time. Welcome to the uh, Jurassic World or Jurassic Park. I, I like to call them Jurassic Parks uh, because I'm uh, uh, I'm not old. I'm, <laughs> I'm 28. So uh, I was actually born the year that uh, Jurassic Park came out. So this is Jurassic <laughs> Park, uh, Pennsylvania. I prefer Jurassic Park to Jurassic World. This is uh, the entrance point. I'm going to play the game now and I will show you from the ground up how it looks so you get to this cute little section over here where you can go around this curve and as you know i like to put little dinosaurs in here in these uh, circles these herbivores that will just not escape when you know like you have these planters around it's nice and it works uh, and it's different it's uh, it's a different kind of enclosure so over here we have uh, our first enclosure I was going for symmetry for some geometry, and this was ac after the update, so we have our cute little Minmies here. I built the <laughs> enclosure, and then I realized how small the Minmies actually are, so um, it looks kind of weird for them to be in an enclosure that has such elevation, but I wanted to create a pit so that the guests could see from up here. Again, we have this little section where the fencing is gone, so you can just like look at the uh, enclosure like this. To this side, we have our uh, guest sections, and we have cute uh, Gallimimus and Styracosaurus in this enclosure that's right next to the hotels. I hope you can hear me because they're quite loud. Here we have the hotel section. Uh, I'm going very quick because this is a big park. This is a huge park, and I don't want you to spend half your life here. To the other side, uh, I was going for I was going for symmetry. So we have a similar enclosure with the Warhosaurus. So this was right after the update. I was uh, very happy that I could build on the Pennsylvania map with all the nice trees and stuff. With the random pattern thing, you kind of risk that some of those dinosaurs that you want your patterns on won't have them. But this one does. And it's so cute. I love the Warhosaurus. It's one of my favorites from the update. Okay, over here, oh, we have a similar enclosure. We have the Struthiomimus, uh, since we had Gallimimus on the other side. And uh, sty, uh, not this is not a styracosaurus, but Alderceratops it is the Pachy Rhinosaurus. A uh, cute little enclosure. The, all the chicken dinosaurs, as I like to call them, they like to run out of there. I don't know why. This is the main square from the other side, looking pretty nice. You can hop on the monorail here. I was trying to do the monorails very symmetric, so it goes around the park in uh, a very uh, uh, if you don't feel like taking the monorail you can go around this little guest section and i didn't put any planters in here which is weird i bet i put, put plenty of planters here i put uh, the paraceralophus uh, in here one of my favorite animals my favorite head resorts 
these dinosaurs are mostly randomized when it comes to coloring because I was so happy that we finally had that. Uh, Iguanodon uh, together with the Paris. And this is a very long enclosure. It's very thin, but very long. It goes it goes all the way up here. Here we have all the Iguanodons. I didn't know which, which patterns and which colors to put on the Iguanodon yet. Now I know after quite a few builds. But here we have the other new addition to the game, the Chronosaurus. This one is called Flipper because it has the funny flips. It is it's flippy. No, this is not Flipper. Flipper is... Where is Flipper? This is the other that's a different color. This is Flipper. Or Diego. Uh, I named the two blue ones. Uh, one of them is Flipper. The other one is Diego. But I don't know which one. I don't know which one is which. <laughs> okay. Here we go to another kind of main square. The rectangular something something i don't know i was really going for some symmetric geometry around here kind of love how this turned out so it's a square after square but it's it's gorgeous i think uh with the colors of the buildings i went with the with with, with the tree colors so we have uh, green we have red and we should have uh, orange here we have our aviary where we have our new flying reptile along with Ar uh, i always want to call it aaron borgiano from Jurassic World Alive, I don't know why, but it's the uh, Geostrombergia, yeah? and uh, the Sangoreptoris. Hello, buddy. Not the brightest colored one, one, but um, maybe we could find another one. Maybe I guess it's the same color. Maybe not. I don't know. So uh, nice little enclosure. I was trying to make it different to the rest of the park again. As I like to do with every single of my builds, I try to make the enclosures as different to each other as, as you can get. It's a challenge. It can be a challenge at times. But uh, you don't want all your enclosures looking the same. Especially if you have one environment. It can happen. Oh my god, we have... <laughs> oh, no. What are you doing here? You're crazy. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna catch her. I just no, I'm I'm not. Whatever. Get out. Okay, here we have the Amargosaurus. One dinosaur that I think that I underused, so I was like, why not? Why 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 not use it here? Give it a nice pit. People are screaming here. Ugh. Don't worry, people. The uh, pterosaur won't eat you. I turned its hunger off. <laughs> so nice little enclosure for uh, Amargosaurus. Now one of my like ultimate favorites. It's cute. It's nice. Yeah, we have we have we have better dinosaurs. Here we have our Coelophysis enclosure. Th this enclosure case came to life just like that. I, I had this little space here. I was like, what do I put here? Let's put in the Coelophysis, and then uh, so that we are keeping up keeping up the symmetry, I put in a, another rectangle over here with the guest section with the shops because the guests were worried that there are no shops over here. But yeah, I always want to not listen to the guest concerns because it's just like it's it's stupid but i always do <laughs> i i promise i'll try to make the parks better by ignoring the guests needs uh, okay here we have our brachiosaurus diplodocus and apatosaurus enclosure again i was trying to make it different by putting these kind of trees over here this is bugging me so much to make it more rocky more uh, uh, hill like to make it big because i was like it doesn't seem like it at first but pennsylvania is freaking huge the map is just giant so here we have a tour going through this enclosure but we also have some viewing towers if you are afraid that the brachiosaurus will stomp your head you can look at it from from up above okay here we have our um, pedrosaurus enclosure next to it we have another guest section you can hop off the monorail over here it goes all the way around this section so that it has some visibility i was trying to break uh, the rules here and uh, go with the logic that the guests actually can see the dinosaurs through the fence and that's why this uh, huge pathway is over here to the both sides and here we have our next guest section 
I don't usually put these in my parks, but this is the second park in a row where I did because I felt like we have so much space in here that it uh, would be ridiculous not to put it there. So we have our nice uh, little guest section and uh, to this side we have our uh, roofed enclosures. These are the Dilophosaurus, randomized in color. I put in uh, a river through their enclosure and I was trying to go with the ginkgo trees over here to make it look different. To not use uh, the same trees over and over again to distinguish it somehow. Over here we have another enclosure that's like half uh, roofed, half not. This is the DDD Deinonychus. Deinonychus might be my least favorite small carnivore in the game. And I don't know why because I loved it. I loved it in the first game. I really did. I don't know what happened. So this is their little enclosure. But we are going to follow the path over here. I'm going to show you from the ground up. We have this little enclosure here. We have this one over here. You can get to the roofed section from here as well. And we have our another enclosure right over here. Let's go here first. Here we have our uh, Proceratosaurus. I was using these to distinguish this enclosure from the rest of them. A lot of rocks to get rid of the pillars of the monorail. Yeah, the roof is made with, with, with the monorail, if you haven't noticed. I, I guess you did, but um, who knows. This is the Troodon, and I'm going to show you, since we have them uh, over here like this, uh, my favorite Troodon skin is this one. I mean... If I don't forget, I'm going to show it right down here so in 3, 2, 1... If not, <laughs> uh, you can come for me. But this is marvelous. This is vicious. I love this skin. I love it, love it, love it, love it. It looks so nice. It's a little glitchy because it's huge. And uh, even though my settings are on low. Yeah. This is the Hererosaurus exhibit. Again, I was using the Ginkgo trees. Let's go down a bit. Hi. You're a cute boy. Bitty, 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 bee. Where's the rest of them? There should be at least five. Where are you? Where's all the Herreras? Oh, I see movement. I see some movement here. They're interacting. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, let's get out of here because this is just glitchy. It's so glitchy. Okay. We can go, you can go through the innovation center or you can take the monorail to get to the next section, which is uh, also roofed. And we can see that there's the, there's a lagoon. And to get to this lagoon, you take uh, this uh, pathway over here. I can hear the raptors, but we're not going to see them just yet. This is the, uh, whoop, where are you? Where are you? Oh, I see some movement. I see some movement. This is the Mosasaurus uh, enclosure. At this point, I felt like I wasn't using the Mosasaurus enough. So I uh, basically just said to myself that I would put two Mosasaurus in here. And again, to make it interesting, I uh, put in the roof over the enclosure on both sides to kind of like not have another just lagoon and then uh, what i like to do is the guest section uh, and uh, some uh, chairs and tables right next to the lagoon because yeah the guests are expected to see the feeding show if, if, if the mosa goes for the shark you, you can actually see it from here okay some more shops another guest section over here and we can go back from this section to this section Oh, which is triangular again i'm going to show you from the ground up it's triangular like this this is one of those sections that i like didn't know how to continue what to do with it what's the next logical step in here so i was just i, I, I was just playing with with shapes and stuff and i like how it turned out here we have the huayangosaurus again a random skin colors just a small enclosure in the middle, right over here. 
if we go this way, we can see the raptors. I was using, again, some other form of vegetation to make it feel uh, exotic. Where are the raptors? I heard them. I, I know they're here. What the hell? Oh, yeah, over there. I randomized their skin colors. Some of them look nice. This one, this one is nice. But yeah, this. I mean, they're all nice. But I, I have some albino ones, and they don't really, they don't really fit, fit this uh, enclosure that well. It's just like, where's the rest of them? Where are my raptors? Where are my raptors? Never mind. Okay. In this next enclosure, we have the uh, Stegosaurus. Stegosaurus is another one that's uh, like a hit or miss when, when it comes to random colors. Because you can have really good looking one like, ones like this one or this one. But then you can have this one, for example, or a, a plain one, uh, which is not really that nice. But Stegosaurus is generally nice. I put in the basic trees because I felt like after using so many different kind of trees... I kind of forgot to use these, and this is what makes the, the map unique. In here, we have our Triceratops. With the Triceratops, I usually go for the Alpine Forest kind of feeling, and these are perfect for it. I don't use these much because I don't really like how, the, how these trees look, but they look nice in this enclosure, so it's fine, I guess. Okay, to the other side, we have my... Uh, favorites again i always say that something is my favorite but but look at this beautiful creature right here the pentaceratops is surprisingly gorgeous i mean how how do you how do you get this beautiful how Incredible, amazing, show-stopping, spectacular, never the same. Beautiful. And I have uh, the Yankees here with them. Because why not? With the JP3 skin, which is the best Ankylosaurus skin, I guess. Or maybe not. I don't know. Okay, over here we have uh, another guest section. And we have our uh, viewing uh, tower overlooking uh, this hill over here where our T-Rex resides. I only have one T-Rex uh, in this enclosure. I, and I wanted to have one T-Rex because it feels like this is the ultimate king of everything. Like it has its own mountain. You can also take a tour that goes just around this enclosure so that you can see it from every single angle possible. And... Yep, that's the T-Rex enclosure. Looking uh, nice. And then now, let me get to do, 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 this enclosure to the other side. We have the Cryo... Whoopa do. We have the Cryolophosaurus. Again, with randomized skin colors. I put in all kinds of trees over here now because this was towards the end of the build and I was going out of ideas of what to do. So I really just put in everything I could find. <laughs> okay, next to these, we have another aviary. And I was, again, excited to use the pteranodons with the uh, JP3 skin. Hi. Okay, the monorail ends here. And we get to this section. We have our carnivore tour. Going through here, in this first enclosure, we have uh, one of my least favorites, but still, it's uh, it's it's not that bad of a dinosaur. It's the Albertosaurus. I kind of like this uh, blue one, and I also like the red one. It's just the skin. The skin texture is just the worst skin texture in the game. It looks like a rubber toy. I mean, excuse me, you have a game of this proportion. And uh, this this gets gets into the final cut. I mean, like, hello, hello. Okay, whatever. Next, uh, we have another enclosure that I try to do differently. Uh, try to do uh, very barren because when it comes to Carnos, I like to 
put them in an enclosure that's kind of post-apocalyptic. <laughs> Very barren. Yeah, that's 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 the word. How uh, how else can you describe it? This skin over here, the this little whatever that is, it it looks so bad. So I just went with the with the red ones again after this faux pas. Okay, so the tour goes through here, uh, over here, and it makes a turn right over here. Again, another enclosure that I tried to do differently. I was using the ginkgo trees and I was going for the temperate forest just with the regular kind of trees. And it's a mountain. It's it's a nice little mountain and there should be... I can, I can hear... Oh, uh, yeah. The Gigantosaurus. With the ugliest skin <laughs> in the game again. This build was such a miss when it comes to these skins. I mean, both of them... I, I, I put in random colors. One of them came out blank and totally black. The other one came out blank with this kind of something. The Jagonotosaurus is another dinosaur where I hate its pattern and the colors of the pattern. It makes it, it takes you out of the realism. Like, that's not a real dinosaur. Okay, here we have the aloes. Almost all of my builds have Allosaurus because it's 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 just the best animal ever. Uh, I mean, I wasn't. Oops, sorry. <laughs> I wasn't uh, a huge. Whoa. Okay. Wait a sec. Uh, I mean, the Allosaurus never was like my favorite favorite dinosaur ever, but in this game, it just looks so good. And the black one. The black one. Stand up. Stand up, buddy. Do something. And, yeah, I was going for alpine, redwood forest kind of thing. Okay, and in our last enclosure, we have one of my other favorites, and that's the Mayungasaurus, or the Majungasaurus. I don't know. To this day, I don't know how to pronounce this one. I, I always thought it's Majungasaurus, and then the game called it Mayungasaurus. Let's find a, another one. Let's find another uh, one that has the patch over the eye. This one. This is, I mean, it's beautiful. It's so beautiful. When it comes to these patterns with Majunga or Mayunga, I love it. I just love it. I love the pattern. It's, it's, it's a pattern boy. It's a this this one is a little too much. Yeah, it depends. Each of these patterns, they can either create a really nice looking dinosaur or a, a, a terrible mistake. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's a, that's a good quote actually. Quote me on that one. Okay, so this is the enclosure. I was going for uh, again uh, another kind of trees, something different each time. So this is the carnivore tour. Uh, the Albertosaurus, it goes all the way around here to here to here. So this is the look from the one side. And let me show you the look from the other side as well. Uh, so this was Jurassic Park, Pennsylvania. I really do hope you liked it. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Give uh, the video a comment, like. You can subscribe. There is more coming. I'm not forcing you to. My name is Tommy, and uh, I'm really glad that you watched uh, this build that I'm really proud of. Uh, thank you very much again, and uh, till the next time. Bye-bye.